Hi guys, it's Marie here. Welcome back to my channel. This channel is about bags, lifestyle and fashion, but mostly bags. I post videos every Friday, sometimes Wednesday. I'm always on a hunt for the perfect bag. If you are like me, you know what to do. Subscribe, hit the notification bell and let's enjoy bags together. When I've done my comparison video between Saint Laurent Lulu puffer bag in a toy size and Saint Laurent Lulu toy bag, just a regular one, and I mentioned that this bag is turning three years old. It's actually turned three in October. You asked me to do a wear and tear video of this three years old beauty. I will have already done full in-depth review of this bag. I'm going to leave the link below. I'm also going to leave the link below of the comparison video between them two. And in this video, I'm just going to cover wear and tear part and show you some close-ups picturing what I actually mean. First thing that I want to mention about the Saint Laurent Lolo toy bag that my version does not have adjustable strap, it's just removable and it doesn't have the uh, middle compartment, just a small compartment in the middle. That's why this uh, version of toy bag, sometimes also called mini, my version is black on black hardware. So as you can see, the old hardware on the bag is black. As per previous videos I've seen on YouTube, some of the some people complain that the black hardware might chip over the years. As you can see, there is not a single chip on my hardware. Maybe if I just like, you know, look very very closely you will see the tiny tiny bits of wear and tear on this clasp but if we look into that one is absolutely immaculate so i can complain about the hardware and being black on black or any chips anywhere also i can mention that i don't wear this bag i don't think i ever wear this bag as a clutch so it means that i actually don't remove the um strap very often. I would say I never do that and that's why I can mention that the hardware is in a very good condition. The bag is made of 100% calf leather. It's tougher than the lamb leather of the puffer version of the bag. However, it's still very soft and very delicate. When I mentioned in my uh, previous video, when this bag was a year old, at that point, it was in immaculate condition. At this point, after three years, I can say it's still in a really good condition. Maybe it helps that I didn't use this bag a lot. It's kind of like in the middle range of my most used bags. It's not in the top five of my most used bags for sure. However, I still use that quite a lot over this three years. Overall, there is no scratches. The leather is pretty resistant to any scratches or marks. I can say to you that this bag survived many rains and maybe even a couple of hailstones. Here in Scotland, our weather is not the best. I can tell you that for sure. And overall, the bag is in a good condition, especially taking in consideration that it doesn't have any feet. So you put that on any surface unprotected that area is absolutely fine you can see some wrinkles here and there but it's absolutely expected there is nothing major that you can say the other thing because of the light weight of this bag it's only weighed 350 grams it still keeps its shape perfectly even after three years you can see it's in the perfect shape it does not collapse and it still goes perfect. The only thing that I should mention here for sure, it's the corners. Unfortunately, to the end of the third year, they start showing some wear and tear. You would be able to see that in the close up. And when I'm talking about corners, I'm talking about those corners of the flap because they are sticking out so much, they take a lot of wear and tear on themselves also we're talking about those corners at the bottom and this one those corners also i can start i started seeing some wear and tear there which is very unfortunate 
Some people complain about Chris on the top of the bag because it's a flat bag and obviously we're opening and closing it like that. I cannot see any crease here. It's perfect for me there. It's a tiny crease over here, but it's uh, literally tiny and I need to look for it in order to find it. Magnet still, magnet closure is still very strong and I really like that because I usually wear my bags crossbody and I prefer that the magnet is pretty strong to keep the bag secure. Obviously, because I don't wear any cellophane protection on the magnet closure, it has a lot of uh, different scratches because of the frequent wear but I was expected and I don't complain about that. That's absolutely fine and perfect. What I don't like about Lulu toy regular bag in comparison to the puffer version, as you can see on the puffer version that the flap is basically the same part of the bag when with a regular version. We have a two pieces, we have the main bag and we have a flap attached to the main part of the bag. That creates a recess over here and that part gets full of crumbs and the flap and the dirt really quickly. Yes, it is no problem to clean it up with a baby wipes or also with a little duster, however, it annoys me so much. I just, I don't like how this part gets dirty really quickly. If we're looking inside the bag, uh, this part of the flap is leather, same leather than the actual bag itself. And my version does not have any scratches, despite the fact that I actually usually wear my nails quite long, no scratches, absolutely fine. Again, very, very good condition. The actual interior of the bag is a textile. And we have uh, two compartments here. Because it's a mini version of the Lulu bag, it does not have any pocket in this compartment, but it does have still card slots on the front and the zip pocket on the bag. I do prefer the textile interior of the bags, like in my case, it's a black one. It keeps bag from getting dirty really quickly. It's really easy to clean up with the baby wipes as well. And I do prefer that over the suede interior for sure. Because I watch out what I put inside the bag, my interior and my uh, textile lining in really good condition. I don't see any marks or dirt or anything like that inside. If we look into removable non-adjustable strap here, it's a full leather. I do prefer it when it's uh, some chain strap, just like to give it a little fancier look to the bag to add it on a little bit of evening look. It, the leather, full leather strap here creates a perfect casual look, which makes this bag as perfect everyday companion. And leather strap showed itself after three years perfectly. It worked really well. I don't see any scratches or creases or, you know, like a little wobbly parts. They are, that's absolutely perfect and they're in really, really good condition. I wanted to show you guys Saint Laurent Lulu toy bag more closely so you can see all wear in tear I've been talking about before. As you can see the bag keeps it shape perfectly. You can see there is no cracks or chips on the black hardware on the Yves Saint Laurent logo on the front. Same thing for the uh, cl clasps on the side. They are also in the perfect condition as you can see. Overall, the main body of the bag is perfect. Yes, it's getting a slightly wrinkled over the time. It's absolutely natural for that sort of cuff 
leather because it's very smooth and delicate but you can see there is no major scratches and overall the bags looks really really good even including that main crisp over here which might be naturally created by opening and closing the bag so here it's absolutely fine and that's this little recess that i've been talking about before which gets dotted really quickly and i think it's a that little downside of this bag because it consists of two separate parts one is a flap and one of the main body of the actual bag you can see inside the bag it has a black interior made of textile and you can see it's actually also in a really good condition i think it's a, been a really good idea to make this uh interior textile and to keep it really to keep it clean because you can easily wipe that with a baby wipes and now we are talking about the main sign of the wear and tear for my Lulu toy bag and this is the corners I've been talking about and it just me not being super super careful about this bag and you can see that when when you wear the bag you need to actually look out for that then when you keep the bag closely to your eye you obviously can see that i can see the wear and tear also here and on those corners too same for here and that's probably the main wear and tear and main downside after three years of my lulu toy bag the overall the leather strap is perfect and in a really really good condition the only part i can complain about is those the magnet and yeah the magnet to mention here you can see it has scratches but after off uh, frequent wear and tear that's absolutely fine and expected so as i said already before the main thing i'm complaining about is those corners all basically the standing out parts of the bag which is that was created by opening and closing the bag and this one's by wearing it cross body and it's actually tension against your body and the clothes to conclude guys i want to say that saint laurent lulu toy bag is a very good bag of the great quality it stood up against time, my wear, horrible Scottish weather conditions, and outperformed many bags of its category. You can see that after three years, it still keeps its form and shape perfectly. Overall, the leather condition is very, very good. On the bag itself, on the main body, but also on the removable leather strap, my black on black hardware is still in immaculate condition, especially after I've heard so many stories that it gets chipped over the time. It does not have any creases on the top, which usually naturally created by opening and closing the bag. The magnet is still very strong, keeping the bag secure. The only thing I would complain in regards to this bag is wear and tear on the corners, which you could see in the close up and i think it's my fault because i was so careless with that bag after the perfect performance after 11 12 months so i'm like yeah that's fine and i didn't baby this bag at all 100 percent and that brought me to the situation i'm in just now with that quite mm, quite a wear and tear on the corners of the bag and that's why now in regards to my puffer version my new bag i'm super super careful because i don't want to end it up as the same situation like here and that's me for today guys i hope you enjoyed this video if you did thumbs up subscribe and hit the notification bell and i will see you next time bye